Okay, welcome back. Now we're on question number 18 from this May, June 2020 International <coughs> GCSE Cambridge Paper 2, which is a variant 2 1 from that year. And this question here is about upper and lower bounds. Well, upper bounds only here. It says W equals 12, correct to the nearest whole number. H equals 4, correct to the nearest whole number. And we've got this like little <coughs> formula P equals 2 times brackets W plus H. Work out the upper bound for the value of P. So, first of all, let's look at W. W is equal to 12, correct to the nearest whole number. That means the lowest it can ever have been was 11.5. And the upper bound, which is um, <clears throat> the value at the limit just before the highest it can ever be, is 12.5. Now, the word upper bound means um, basically this, less than 12.5. So, the limits of W would be from 11.5, including 11.5, up to just before 12.5. But when we say the word upper bound, that's what we mean. So when we write down the upper bound of this, if <laughs> we write down 12.5. We don't say 12.4 or 12.49 or anything like that, because there's always going to be a number higher than that, which will round to 12.5, 12.49, 12.499, 12.49. You keep going, you can keep going, and you'll find always a number. So you write down 12.5 as the upper bound, meaning this, everything just before 12.5. That's a very important point there. Uh, we write 12.5 as upper bound, which in this particular question we don't actually need because we're going to be only looking for... Oh, we will need, actually. We're looking for the upper bound, yes. So we'll need that. So you have to understand that. You can't write 12.4 or 12.49 for the upper bound. It has to be 12.5 because we're talking about upper bound, which means this. Then you have H, which equals 4 correct to the nearest whole number again. So again, it's going to have a lower bound of 3.5 and upper bound of 4.5. Those are the values it could have been between um, before it was rounded. So now the upper bound is going to be equal to 2 times. Now we have an addition here. So for addition, if you get the, <coughs> the biggest possible value plus the biggest possible value, you get the, the upper bound for that calculation. So you have 12.5 plus 4.5 so that gives you 2 times, that's uh, 16, 17, 2 times 17, which is 34. Okay, one of the mistakes that people make is that they do the calculation first. They say uh, 2 times 12 plus 4, and that will give you 2 times 16, which is going to be 32. And then they put 32.5 and 31.5, and that's wrong. You don't do the calculation first, you do the upper and lower bounds of the numbers that have been rounded first and then you put them in the calculation so that's a very common error in this to topic and the other common error for upper bounds is people write 12.4 or 12.49 or something like that no you have to write 12.5 because the word upper bound means this exactly that's what it means by definition it means everything just before 12.5 not including 12.5 so you have to use that's the, what the word upper bound means Okay, so it's very important for you to understand that point. So that's question number 18, which is about upper and lower bounds. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from this topic, which I think it has a topic, it's limits of accuracy, will be found in this playlist that should appear in this area here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.